Hey, I'm Elsa. And I'm Baron. And we live in this 13 foot scamp trailer. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you will know that we have towed this trailer with our Mini Cooper S for almost an entire year. The Mini wouldn't be the first tow vehicle that we would choose, but it's what we had coming into this. So we made it work. Somebody made a really awesome comment on YouTube saying that it's our work vehicle because we made it work. Yeah. And that's very accurate. It's just what we had and we just wanted to start living this lifestyle. So we used the resources that were around us and it ended up being freaking awesome. It was extremely gas efficient. We could zoom around these mountains, no problem, and rarely have to fill up our gas tank. And even when we were towing the Scamp, the gas mileage was great. Yeah, we still got around 19 miles to the gallon on flat land, which is ridiculous. It's super fun to drive, and it's a six-speed transmission, so we had a lot of variability when we were towing the Scamp. After doing this for a year, we just learned that we really needed something a little bit more secure. Because now we know that we'll be camping like on dirt roads, like back in the sticks all the time. Versus campgrounds that we would use paved roads to get to. If we had been doing that, the Mini still would probably be our tow vehicle of choice. Yeah. Another thing about the Mini is that given that it's so small, it's difficult to work on. So if we were going to have to operate on the transmission or anything like that, it would be super difficult to do. And I'm not a mechanic by any means, and we don't have a shop to work on it. So what we would have liked to have done if we were going to keep the Mini is things like raising it, putting bigger tires on it. It would be the, sort of the antithesis of what everybody else does with Minis. We, we wanted to add a roof rack too a light bar, like crazy wheels, just to make it a super awesome mountain vehicle. But the Mini would inevitably get expensive if things did start to break. So we decided before that began happening, we might as well swap it for the car that we really need. It was a really big sacrifice to get rid of the Mini Cooper. Yeah, we loved that little car and we'd had it for five years. The first thing we both did when we sat in the new car was cry before we drove off the lot. Not because we weren't excited about the new car, but seeing the Mini and driving away from it permanently was like losing a brother. Yeah, it, it would have been like the friend that we could count on that we spent all the time on and had all of its quirks and everything. And we were really attached to it. And it's wild given that with this whole minimalist sort of ethos, you're supposed to detach yourself from all things and be able to just let them go. But for us, we, like, there was so much of us in the Mini that it was, it was really hard. It was wild. I hadn't cried like that. Shit, I don't know when I've cried, you know, like, <laughs> like, just kind of sobbed. It was it kind was of happy, sad, because sad, just reflecting on all the old memories and everything. And then, kind of once we got over the sadness, we realized, oh dang, <laughs> we got a new car! <laughs> It's a huge, huge gain in trade for the sacrifice. This car is exactly what we need for what we've realized we want to do. A 2004 Subaru 2.5 XT. <laughs> now we can tow the Scamp with peace of mind because the Subaru has all wheel drive. It still has a turbocharger, so there's plenty of power to pull it around. And it's automatic, which wasn't necessarily what I wanted because I love driving manual, but Truly, from what I've gathered, it's better for towing anyway, and that way Elsa can drive it no problem. Mm -hmm. It's got a big, nice sunroof, and which will be cool. plenty of room for sleeping in. Right. If we ever decide that we want to go on a quick camping trip, we can pop that sunroof open and look at the stars. It came with studded snow tires too, which was a really nice perk, especially as we drove home that night in a snowstorm. A huge... A huge part of choosing a Subaru, what? The huge. Huge part of choosing the Subaru too was that it's kind of like, in my terms, it's like Legos. If something goes wrong, we can just pop in something else. Because all the different Subaru parts from the similar model years are sort of interchangeable. And ours has the STI engine from the 2004 year. So it's like one of the baddest ass Subarus that you can get. If anything does go wrong, we can bolt on STI parts. So if we want to increase power a little bit or gas mileage or whatever, there are different parts that we could swap out. And one of the best, best things that we love about the Subaru is that it is white. So it matches the scamp. 
We've got some cosmetic and some just general upgrades that we're going to do to the Subaru. And in the meantime, we're also going to be upgrading parts of the Scamp. So if you're interested in seeing how we do that, we'd love to make tutorials for you. And if you're into Subarus and have anything to share, have any ideas or anything at all, please reach out. Give us your knowledge and wisdom. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.